All right, bro, what's going on, man? So today we're doing a quick video. I'm just gonna show you some tips and some pointers on how to build a muscular, attractive physique so you can get ready for summertime. You're out on the beach, feeling confident, feeling good. All right, so basically the whole idea of when you're trying to build uh, an attractive looking physique versus doing something like having a more, like a bigger power building physique is there certain muscles that we wanna focus on, okay? So the whole idea of what we're trying to do here is we're trying to build up our shoulders and actually make our shoulders wide and make our waist small, okay? So if I'm standing up like this, the idea is, you know, you want your waist to be as narrow as possible and you want your shoulders and upper body to be wide, okay? And that what that does is it creates like almost like a V shape. It's like what they call a V taper, okay? So in order to do that, when you're in the gym, basically you wanna be focusing on building up your shoulders, okay? So focus on building up your shoulders when you're in the gym. Make sure you're doing um, lateral raises, okay? So lateral raises are really good for this part of your shoulder right here. And if you build up this part of your shoulder, it makes it wider, okay? So you can do that with either dumbbells, you can do it with the cable, okay? Whatever works for you, um, but just do that. You want your traps and your neck to also be getting developed over time. What works good for me is if um, basically you're doing the dumbbell lateral raises, what I found works kinda, kinda nice is if you do a little bit heavier, so it's not really ego lifting, but it's like, it's hard, right? It's not like you're able to do 20 reps of like dumbbell lateral raises, maybe you can only do 10 or something like that. Then you have to recruit more of your traps and actually works your traps simultaneously. Now, if you prefer to do it lighter where you're doing like 20 reps of the, um, of the dumbbell lateral raise, then you can also do a separate traps workout, okay? So you can do a separate exercise just for your traps. And it kind of depends on your neck, you know, if you have like a skinny neck, like my neck is pretty, I think pretty well proportioned for my body, so I don't tend to train it that much. Um, but if you do find that your neck is a little bit skinnier and you want to make it a bit thicker, you can always do the, um, the neck exercises, right? With the, uh, with the band and add on weight over time. So what else have we got? Um, oh yeah, right, 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 right. So <clears throat> that's the shoulders. Now, the other thing about it is that your shoulders, you have a rear delt back here. Like the shoulders are composed of three different parts. So side delt is what you do when you're doing the dumbbell lateral raises. Your front delt gets worked when you're doing any type of pressing movement. So typically you're gonna be good on that because most people like bench press or do something where they're doing pushing movements with their shoulders. So your front delts tend to be kind of overdeveloped usually. So you wanna make sure that you're doing the front, the back, and the side. You wanna be doing the whole shoulder so that you get more a rounded shoulder, right? As opposed to just like, if you were to just leave the side flat and the back flat and not work it, the only part that would be sticking out would be the front. So make sure you work your entire shoulder, okay? But more specifically, like if you want that width, it's gonna come from doing like dumbbell lateral raises and, and doing uh, like focusing on like the side shoulder, the side delt as they like to call it. So then of course we got arms, like when it comes to your biceps, right? Biceps, uh, the best exercise I found, one of the best that I like to do is if you're on like a bench, like you, if you're in the gym, you're on an inclined bench and you're leaning back like this, have some dumbbells in your hand and lower them down and just slowly curl up, okay? So it's like incline curls with dumbbells and just make sure that you're not like doing this, you're not like, ugh, you know, going as hard as you can, make sure you're actually taking it slow and then slow on the way down, fast back up, slow on the way down, okay? Um, so that's really good for your biceps. Tricep, obviously just starting out, if you're just getting into this, just do the tricep, you know, just do the tricep extensions with the rope attached to the machine or attached to the cable machine, I mean, and just do those, okay? That'll work your triceps enough. Work your way up to being able to do dips because that also really helps with your triceps. Um, what else? Oh, of course, you've got the lats, right? So this is the lat right here. It runs all the way from like your armpit to your um, to your back, like all the way to your lower back. And it's a huge, it's on both sides. And it's a huge muscle that comes down. And it's really responsible for kind of giving you, like if I do this, right? If I kind of do this and I just like kind of do that, you can see it kind of sticks out, right? You can see how it kind of sticks out over here. And what that does is at, over time, as you build that out, as you make it wider and wider, actually gives you more of like what's called like the V taper, like I was talking about earlier. So it gives you more of that V taper shape. So if you see, like if I do this, you can kind of see it like it sticks out, right? It's right here and it sticks out. And so the more you can get that to stick out, the more of a V you're gonna get. So obviously you can do pull-ups. Pull-ups are really good for working your lats. Um, lat pull down, 
That's also really good if you do the lat pull down machine. Is that it? I'm trying to think if that's basically it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, oh yeah, chest, chest, chest. So when you're working your chest, don't focus so much on doing your mid chest or your lower chest. Focus mostly on doing your upper chest, okay? Because what happens with a lot of guys is, like if I turn to the side here, they work the lower chest so much that it like sticks out way more than the upper chest. And I kinda used to be a lot more like that, but since I started working on my upper chest, it started to fill in a lot more and it's given my chest a much like fuller look than I used to have, okay? And so work on the upper chest more than the lower chest or mid chest. When you do like the upper chest, so say you're doing the incline dumbbells like this, okay? Uh oh, that was my desk. <laughs> say you're doing incline dumbbells like this, that's going to work your entire chest, but it specifically focus on, focuses on the upper area, which is what you want, okay? That's what you want because it gives you the look that you wanna have and it's gonna actually support your chest in the proper way. You don't wanna have a big lower chest and then like your upper chest is sunken in. It just looks really weird. Um, abs, obviously abs are you know important to work your abs. Right now, I don't have, well actually I got a little bit of, you can kind of see a little bit of a six pack there, but I'm on a bulk right now and so these abs will eventually probably be covered up, but you want to work your abs. Okay. So doing, if you don't know, like, like a cable crunch like this with the cable machine, doing a cable crunch, you can do hanging leg raises or hanging knee raises. Um, really any body weight movement like that is good for your abs and you want to work them consistently. So do it like twice per week, right? Do it twice per week. And I think the last aspect of building an attractive physique would be like making sure you're lean enough to where you can actually see your muscle. Because if you're right now, let's just say you're like 25% body fat or, or 20 to 25% body fat, AKA you can't see any abs at all. You know, you've got a lot of fat over your stomach and everything. You can have a lot of muscle, but it doesn't really come through and you can't really see it unless you lower your body fat percentage, okay? So you have to lose a good amount of fat in order for you to see the muscle that you're building because otherwise it's gonna be covered up with fat, right? And you're not gonna really notice it. Yeah, you're gonna look bigger, you'll look a little bit more buff, but if you really want to get that lean, kind of aesthetic look, you gotta lose body fat. There's just no way around it. And so, as you're starting out, the best way to do this, okay, the best way to do this when you're first starting, simply start lifting on a regular schedule. So actually, like, <laughs> go to the gym on a regular schedule. Don't be a bitch and freaking be skipping out on your workouts. Like, you, if you, want, if you actually want this physique, you actually have to put in the work to get it, right? Nothing just comes for free. And so what you need to do is be consistent with your workouts. If you can only do two times a week, that's okay. Stick with two times a week. If you can do three, you can do four, you can do five, that's a lot better because you'll make progress faster, okay? I say three days a week is really the minimum if you wanna take it like seriously. So do that, focus on being consistent and then make sure you're also, also getting enough protein in, okay? So protein, you know, you need to be tracking it. A lot of people are like, oh, I'm not getting the results I want. And I'm like, bro, are you eating enough protein? And they're like, uh, I think so. And it's like, bro, you gotta actually track your protein intake. You can't just like think you know what it is, right? You gotta actually determine, am I eating the right amount? So a lot of people say one gram per pound. Does not have to be that high, okay? So if you're 140 pounds, you don't have to eat 140 grams of protein. As long as you're in a range, let's say, like one gram per pound is really the upper range. So if you're anywhere from like 100 to 140 grams, you're good, okay? You don't need to obsess about this but a lot of people aren't getting anywhere near that. You'll be surprised if you start tracking your protein, you might only be getting like 50 grams a day, which is just not enough when you're trying to build muscle. So think about that. Think about doing anywhere from, I'd say, you know, like maybe 0.8 all the way to one gram per pound of body weight is fine, somewhere in there. You don't need to be obsessed with it. The other problem is a lot of people are eating shit foods, just to be honest with you, okay? And a lot of people are obsessed with, you know, eating a lot of junk food and added sugar, which I understand. It's everywhere, it's hard to escape it, but the reality is if you wanna have a high-performing physique, you wanna have mental clarity, right? You wanna be disciplined, you wanna actually stick to your gym, work out, you wanna develop a good physique and you know a high-level like lifestyle and mindset, you have to start thinking long-term about your health. And you can't just go around <laughs> just eating whatever you want. I know you see a lot of bodybuilders and you see a lot of people on YouTube and social media who's like, oh yeah, bro, I just, you know, I just go to McDonald's every day on the bulk or I just go to, you know, um, fat, get fast food and I go get desserts and all this kind of stuff and that's all I eat. The reality, bro, is, you know, 10 years from now, that's going to come back and haunt you. So 
Think about switching your diet to eating mostly whole foods. And when I say whole foods, what I mean is foods that don't have a lot of added sugar and aren't very processed, AKA things like if you're gonna eat meat. So instead of eating, what would it be like? Maybe chicken nuggets, right? For meat, instead of eating chicken nuggets, you go get a chicken breast or a chicken thigh and you grill that up, okay? Or you bake that. So what you're doing is you're replacing the processed because the processed food has a lot of added sugar and it has a lot of chemicals in it that fuck up your body, essentially, okay? It fucks up your body. Your, your, your fat levels are gonna be going up because you're just consuming too many calories, okay? Because these foods are really easy to consume. And that might not be why, and that might be why you don't have the physique you want right now is because you're eating too many of these processed foods, bro. You're just eating too many of them. And, and it, there's so many, they pack so many calories into these processed foods. You'll eat literally one thing, it'll be like 500 calories, bro. That's like a quarter of the calories for the day. You know what I mean? Like you, you gotta watch out. So try to focus on eating whole foods, like fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, um, meat, like whole meats, like steaks. Uh, obviously like if you're going to do like a cheeseburger, it's fine. As long as you're getting like good, good quality meat. Cause the burger is just ground up, right? It's just meat that's been ground up. It's not processed. I mean, it is processed, but it's not like an ultra processed food. Now that does not mean, um, like a burger from McDonald's or Burger King, because that's a completely different ordeal. You know, I don't know what the fuck they put in there. It's not good. And it comes on a bunch of extra stuff like the bun, which is just processed and disgusting. So think about doing those things that I just said, make sure you start switching your diet over. And if you can follow through with this and do this for, do this process for, I'd say anywhere from like three to six months, you're going to see results, bro. If you literally just do everything I just told you to do, <laughs> if you just do it and you stay consistent, you, you target those muscles. I just told you to target, you eat enough protein, you start switching your diet over to eating more whole foods. Oh, one other thing that you, sh that you're going to need to make sure you do too is, um, over time when you're in the gym, you got to start making things heavier and heavier and heavier, right? You can't just lift the same weight because your body will get used to that. So over time, you got to make things heavier, heavier, heavier. That way you actually continue to build muscle. So yeah, if you do all those things, bro, you will literally start to build a muscular attractive physique for summertime. And that's really all you need to do. You don't need to worry about counting calories and all that when you're first getting started, just start doing that. And your body will actually start to do what's called a recomposition and you will start to literally transform. So you end up being, you could end up three, six months from now having the same, being the same weight on the scale or being roughly around the same weight, but looking completely different. Like your fat is like come way down, your muscles come way out and you look jacked. So yeah, I hope that works for you. Uh, if you do want help with this, you want more help, you want my coaching, uh, my workout plans, check the link in the description because I have, I just finished setting up the community so you can come in there, ask me questions. We do weekly calls and whatnot if you want more help. If not, take this information, use it, apply it, and get results. All right, bro, I'll see you in the next video. Peace, have a good day.